Alright, here we have Venom. Hopefully it's easy to unbox so I can keep this intact. Just use the terrible music in the background. It presents their radio up in their car or whatever, being being cool. Okay, we stop playing the boxes. All right. I'm not a fan of how they tie these things in. I know I said it before, I think on my Halo video. I know um, other people also are not fans of it. You know, I've mentioned it. There we go. Pretty good weight to it. So that's a nice size. So that shoulder and uh, hip articulation, which actually I am a fan of because it leaves less seams. I know people like, oh, you know, want to pose it and have that middle seam, but it looks, it looks kind of jacked up to me when you have that, that middle seam. This is a cool looking figure. I like this thing a lot. I had seen it in Target before, but the box had been ripped open into shreds. So I was like, wow, I'm not going to get it. So a couple weeks later, I found another one that was in box. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, okay. So that's Blast Gear. I have no desire to get. Looks like well, Spider-Man gets a crossbow or something. Sure. So you can put some blast gear in here. So luckily it's in the back and it's, you know, you're going to be displaying it. Face up, standing up like that. And some cool Venom stuff. Venom always kind of leaned over to me. I really like this venom. It's pretty. It's cool to me. Got the tongue out there. Really good size. Um, let's see the size comparison. Where's Where's Trish? There we go. There you have. This next to the venom. You can see it's really, really good size. I'm really glad I found this. I enjoy having the, the bigger action figures. This size is okay. Anything smaller than that, I'm not really usually too interested in. This is really cheap, but I'll grab it. I think this is, uh, I think he ran like 12, maybe, maybe 16 bucks. So, very cool. He is very plasticky. Did a good job, I thought. 
So there's Venom, or Spider-Man Maximum Venom. 